Welcome back to SciRusher TV. Today, we're gonna to be assembling your brand new XF650. Once your bike is assembled, please check out our other quick tip videos for advanced menu walkthroughs and a deep dive into the inner workings of the XF650. Let's start by opening the box. Be careful when cutting open the box so as not to damage your bike or any of the components inside. For the purposes of demonstration, we will be cutting open an entire side of the box, but it's recommended to preserve the box. The box can be used to collect all packing materials and recycle them according to local regulations. We can set aside the accessories and battery boxes for now. Next, let's get the box out of the way and start cutting the tape and zip ties of the packing material. Again, be careful to avoid cutting any cables or scratching the bike. Set your front wheel to the side and let's unpack our accessories and battery. The accessory box includes the quick release for the front wheel, a multi-tool, a 15mm wrench, pedals, front fender, and the user manual. The battery box contains the keys and the battery. When shipped, the headset will be facing towards the rear. Use the multi-tool to loosen the two bolts of the headset and rotate the headset towards the front. Make sure it is in alignment with the front forks and re-tighten the two bolts. Next, remove the headset front plate in preparation for mounting the handlebars. Then, install the handlebars using the crosshairs as a guide to get a nice center mounting point. When reinstalling the headset bolts, remember to tighten them in an X pattern. This will ensure an even distribution across the front plate. Next, let's grab the front release and install it through the front wheel. Remove the nut and one of the small springs. If the spring falls off the rod during this process, remember that the smaller side of the springs will be facing inward. Grab the front wheel and remove the protective covering. Install the quick release lever on the opposite side of the disc brake. Once it is through, place the small spring and nut back onto the rod, tightening it slightly. This can stay loose for now as we'll need space for installing our front wheel. When installing the front wheel, you can ask a friend to hold the bike up, you can flip it over on the handlebars, or use a bike stand. For this demonstration, we'll be using a bike stand. First, line up the disc brakes and the disc calipers, bringing the quick release up into the front fork notches. Hold the quick release lever and tighten the nut on the opposite side. We don't want this too loose or too tight, so it may take some back and forth to find the sweet spot. You should be able to close the lever with moderate force of one hand. Spin the wheel to confirm the wheel is lined up properly. Next, we'll install the front light and front fender. First, remove the bolt that is pre-installed on the front forks. Use that to attach the front light and front fender. You can start by hand tightening and finish it off with the provided multi-tool. Next, we'll fold out and adjust the fender boss attachments. You may need to move these up or down to ensure an even front fender. Once they are positioned in an even manner, tighten the small hex bolts to secure the arms in the sleeves. Repeat this process for the opposite side. Next, we'll grab the pedals and install them using the provided 15mm wrench. Please note that the pedals are labeled, one for the right and one for the left. Both pedals are reverse threaded, so they will tighten when turned towards the front wheel. The rear tire is deflated during shipping, and this is a good time to pump the tire up to the recommended pressure. Next, we'll install the battery. The battery will simply slide down on the battery track. Once the battery is fully seated, you can lock it into place with the keys. To remove the battery, first unlock it and then slide it up and off the battery track. Now that we've got your battery installed, it's time to turn on the XF650. To turn on the display, hold down the middle button. You can use the up and down arrows to change levels of pedal assist. Pedal assist levels range from zero to five. Short pressing the middle button will cycle through your odometer, time of operation, errors, and trip distance. To turn on the lights, press the light button on the left-hand side. To turn off the light, simply press the light button again. To use the horn, press the horn button. But since we're in a closed space, we'll skip that for now. The horn is quite loud. 
Once you've wrapped up your adventures and you're ready to turn the bike off, simply hold down the middle button until the display goes black. Thank you for watching SciRusher TV. From all of us at SciRusher, we hope you have an amazing day.